In this video, I want to share some work that we've been doing to build out a course related to using Node-RED with MQTT to interface with Go1. Now, previously, we did an extensive course on Node-RED uh, demonstrating the numerous capabilities of Tello, and so we're just really exploring all the amazing stuff that can be done with Go1. So I'll start off with just a high-level overview of what we're going to be touching upon. Essentially, we're going to be using Node-RED to interface uh, with the Wi-Fi module and Pi to send uh, MQTT commands that will allow us to control Go1's LEDs, as well as do some basic high-level control. Now, before I get started, let me just give a very simple overview of, of how this will work. I have a Docker image with all of our code uh, pre-installed as well as Node-RED, and that will be over here. Device one is ultimately uh, my computer. It will publish messages to the MQTT broker, which is running inside of Go1 and the various subscribers. In our case, these will be LEDs and uh, motors. You'll see here that uh, we have the joint motors, so the message will come in, get routed to the motors, as well as the LEDs. I'll move forward with the demo. Now, this is going to be done uh, with a Docker image that we've created that has a Node-RED and a lot of our software pre-installed. If you don't have Docker experience, please don't be intimidated. Uh, you can download the desktop, go through the tutorials. It's, it's very powerful. I highly recommend uh, learning a bit more about it. We'll certainly be covering it more uh, in our courses with Go1. So we're going to uh, pull this image and run a container based off of that. So I'll go ahead and show what's going to happen here. Node-RED will run inside uh, Docker at 1880. The host, our machine, will be able to forward any traffic from 1880 in the host to the container, and then we're going to uh, run this image. So I'll go ahead, click enter. The necessary services are brought up, and we have Node-RED loading. There's a, several uh, flows that we've already created. We'll be sharing much more of these, but uh, we'll go through these uh, one by one and just uh, see how easy it is to interface with Go1. We'll start with the RGB LED example. You'll notice that the Node-RED server is running and it's trying to connect. It obviously cannot currently connect and you'll see here a little notice saying that it's connecting. What I'll do is go ahead and connect to Go1's network. You'll notice now that our node shows connected so now we're ready to send messages to the MQTT broker. Now that we're connected, we'll go ahead and issue a message. I'll just send this red message to the necessary topic. You'll see that the red LED is on. Let's send the green message. And then finally, the blue. We can extend this example to use uh, an LED color picker from the dashboard nodes. Let me go ahead and launch the dashboard. We'll see how this works. So you'll see that I have the color picker here. I can select a red, blue, green, and many other colors. Immediately as you change the color or make a color se selection, uh, that message is sent to the MQTT broker on Go1 the corresponding LED color is selected. So moving forward, let's just take a quick look at being able to send some different actions. We'll go ahead and do the stand down action, the stand up, and then finally, we have some different dance maneuvers. I'm not going to go into these in detail, but uh, let's just go ahead and issue the dance one sequence. So that's just a high level overview of some of the stuff we're covering. Uh, we're also going to get into a lower level control in the future. That will happen through a different interface than MQTT. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us or post a comment below. And until next time, thanks for watching.